team in the league. Derek Walton Jr. Well, every great orchestra needs a conductor. And Derek Walton Jr. is that for the Sydney Kings. And he joins us on the crossover. Derek, congratulations. Another great win here in Melbourne. Tell us about the chemistry that you guys are building this season as you try to go back to back. Um, it just, you know, trying to play the right way. Uh, for the most part, just trying to find the best way to get the best shot each time down the floor. Um, me being the head of the snake, uh, I feel like I take responsibility of that. And, um, you know, when it's nice with guys are focused on me not trying to score or trying to keep me from scoring, I just do uh, what the game needs. And if guys are open, if a guy has it going, I just try to go to him and um, just kind of let the game uh, read itself and then just go from there. Derek, Damon Laurie, man, welcome to Australia. Just so you know, I'm from Saginaw, Michigan, and I know you're from the D. What's happening, man? What's up, boss? Hey, look, what you're doing out there orchestrating this team, man, is phenomenal. Talk about the teammates that you got compared to teammates you've probably had in the past. Like, how do you go, go about bringing out the best in them? Um, it's about just finding some chemistry in practice for the most part, man. Just uh, finding where guys like the ball. Um, you know, chemistry comes with time, man. There's no real secret other than, you know, getting reps together, man. There's no secret to it. Um, my, they make my job easy, man. I try to put the ball in places where they can score. Um, and when it's my time to score, I do that. And overall, man, I'm about winning. So however it looks, man, I'm cool with it. Hey, Derek, first of all, a great win. Um, I think today was all about the grassroots and the young kids uh, coming up and playing basketball. You are obviously a point guard. You're, you know, you're so smart. Your basketball IQ is up there. You're so experienced. I would love to know what advice you have for these young point guards who are getting into the game and, you know, hopefully wanting to achieve what you have. Um, stay a student of the game, man. There's nothing... You never can stop learning for the most part, man. I, I'm still finding myself learning ways to be effective every single day. So uh, to the generation next, man, it's, you never can learn enough. There's never too much knowledge. And uh, you can never not work on your game too much. Derek, you've played at the highest level and alongside and against some of the great players. How have you found the standard here in Australia in the NBL? Uh, competition is high, man. I'm, I'm not uh, naive to the fact that there's high-level basketball all across this globe, man. I'm not... Uh, I got to think the NBA is where the best players are. Uh, there's good players everywhere, man. So I respect every opponent with the utmost respect just due to the fact that uh, everybody put their time in for the most part. So um, to circle back to your question, for the most part, man, the NBA has some guys that can really play just like every other league in the world. Derek, you living in Sydney now, man. It's a little bit different than Detroit. Mm -hmm. What do you like so much, so much now about living in Sydney in the Harbor City? Um, for the most part, man, just trying to... Uh, Get my feet down. I've been here for about two months now. Just trying to get my feet down, find some foods that I like. Uh, the weather's always good. That's always a plus. Uh, the guys are good. I really don't have too much worry, man. The guys open their arms and welcome me with open arms, man, and I'm very appreciative of it. It allowed me to be myself. And um, circling back to just the living experience, man, I just got a chance to really refocus and put some stuff back in priority for myself and put the game first. Now, Derek, I don't know if you're much of a fashion expert or you spend much time thinking and planning about your outfits. What have you made of your coach's cardigans <laughs> over the last couple of games? <laughs> um, they're, uh, <laughs> they're his style. I mean, everybody, you know, fashion is subjective, man. Whatever you think is nice is pretty much up to you, man. So for the most part, I mean, he surprised me with a couple. Then he came out with some Jordans. Um, he switched it up a little bit. I like it. Nice little style, nice little style. Well, there's a fashion accessory that you guys are hunting. That's a ring and a championship. Congratulations. 16 wins on the road in a row. And it looks like you're on your way to potentially defending that championship. We appreciate your time, Derek. Appreciate you guys. You have a good one. Derek Walton with us on the crossover. So the Kings really impressive today. And